The subject for today's video, syncing the reverbs to the tempo of your songs. This is a technique that will make the reverbs move with your song at the same rhythm and just fit in beautifully. You need to do a little bit of math here. It's pretty simple. There's 60,000 milliseconds in one minute. Divide that by your BPM and you get the number of milliseconds in a beat. 60,000, my tempo is 140. 60,000 divided by 140. 428 milliseconds so 428 milliseconds is the time it takes for one beat in my song and i pulled up the fancy uh, valhalla vintage verb because it's everybody's favorite go to the decay knob and put in that number 0 0.428 keep in mind 428 milliseconds is a fraction of a second right so we just input that and at this point we're good the decay of our reverb is synced to our song unfortunately it's a bit more complicated than that because there's another thing in the reverb called a pre-delay it's the time it takes before the decay actually starts so for example here i would have 20 milliseconds if i add that to my decay I'm no longer synced, right? Because my decay's on time, but I have these 20 milliseconds that don't really sync to the tempo. There's no need to panic, I got you. What you'll do is you take these 428 milliseconds, subtract your pre-delay. So we have 408 milliseconds. And there you go, you're still in sync. At this point, when you understand the concept, it, it gets really cool because what we're doing right now is we have one beat, which is one little box here, but you can double that number and go to two beats. You can go to a bar, you can go to two bars if you want that really long decay, washed out kind of big space, and it always works. Okay, and I'm gonna hit you with that secret sauce. There's actually a really cool website dedicated to this. I'll put the link in the description, obviously. You just load up the page, punch in your BPM, and you get different reverb sizes with the pre-delay and the decay time synced as I just showed you. Yeah. Sorry to be that guy, but I have to mention that this approach is really useful, but it doesn't always work. It's a good starting point to get like your reverb size figured out, but at some point you have to play with that decay knob, make it off tempo a little. It also depends on the type of reverb you're using. If you're using a non-linear reverb, it will not respond in the same way as a hall, for example, with this technique. It's always gonna depend on the vibe you wanna create, on the atmosphere, uh, the space, the tempo. So mix with your ears, man. Don't mix with your eyes, that's very important. All right, dudes, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate, go in the comment section, I'll be sure to answer them. And yeah, that's it, man, take care.